What you're seeing on your screen right now is if you were going to program your own Evo All using the flash link, this is what you would see. This is your main home screen. So if you're choosing to have someone like us do the programming, do your updates, or do your feature settings for your Evo One, which is what this video is going to cover. I'm also going to do a separate video on an Evo All. So if you're just using an Evo All, you might want to watch that video as opposed to this one because this one here I'm gearing specifically just to the Evo One. Now we sell the Evo Ones. They're on our site. They're available. However, understand that no Evo is pre-programmed with the latest firmware. I mean, it happens, but they do change these firmwares on a, like every couple, two, three months. It's, it's, it's constantly evolving, constantly updating, constantly changing. So if you have one, don't think that you have the latest greatest because you may not have the latest greatest. So with that said, on this Evo 1, there's an update feature which we can do. I always check. If, if I look on the back of my module and I look at the sticker and I see what, what firmware is on there, if it does not match up to the number I'm seeing on the update, I will always update it. That's just me. I can't say for everybody, but that's what I do. Now for my options on the Evo 1. Now with the Evo 1, you can program the feature settings yourself as a user with the system in your hand with the um, programming switch. Stuff like, you know, programmable remote start, uh, the tackless sensitivity, the starter runtime, adding a remote, doing safety locks, unlock door lock pulse timing, uh, active or passive alarm uh, settings, confirmation pulses, um, cold start timers, diesel mode, turbo timers, all those types of things are all done either through the valley switch which is provided with an EVO 1 or if you're using um, a drone or a RF remote add-on kit with your EVO 1. That's how those are done. Okay, so you can do those anyway with a remote, without the remote, that's just, that's on you. That, that's something I will not do for you and that's something you need to know how to do for yourself. It's very straightforward, it's in the instructions. With that said, if you need somebody to do the programming digitally on the site using the flash link because you don't want to purchase one because you're a one-time user, you don't want to waste $60 on one, you prefer to pay someone like me $5 for a one-time use, I'll be glad to do it for you. Um, it makes It's good karma, I like helping customers, and plus I like making a couple extra bucks. Go figure, right? So with that said, the Evo All options look something like this. So you don't have to wonder what can I do with the settings because I'm making this video just for those people who want to educate themselves and know what is available. Here it is on the screen. You can pause at any point. If there's anything you see that's interesting, by all means take a note. If you have any questions about something I do not cover and you want to call us to get some dialed in programming prior to us sending out your order or doing a, a special uh, feature setting for you, we'll be happy to help you out. Um, I will respond to you as soon as I possibly can, but for the most part, these are the settings. Basically, it's an on-off kind of a deal. So here, for instance, on off, unlock double pulses, so it'll pulse two times, you know, on unlock as opposed to one. OEM remote monitoring sends OEM lock and unlock commands to the remote starter or the alarm via data link as opposed to analog. Um, open door shutdown, what that means is that once you remote start it using the Evo, if you get in there and open up the door, you can choose whether you want the remote start the shutdown or stay on and just go off when you depress the brake pedal like normal with a remote start. Hybrid mode, lock after start, which is a security feature. That's what these settings are basically all about. And this is only with the Evo All. Of course, there's all the settings which you can do at home once you have your remote start and you open it up from the packaging itself. So with that said, this is all there is to know about the Evo All's functionality. These, like I said, are on our site. We have all the T-harnesses, the compatibility. If you have other questions about what fits, what works, if it's compatible with your vehicle, I would suggest going to Fortin's website, which is ifar, I-F-A-R dot C-A for Canada, ifar dot C-A. Pop in your year, make and model, all the information will come up. And once you find the one you want, you can cross-reference that to our website, purchase what you need. Um, we sell an item, it's called Flash. That's what you would find it in our store. We call it Flash. It's a $5 feature. Um, we will charge you the $5. You can just communicate to us what settings you need done, what your year, make and model is, and we'll take care of the rest for you and take all the hardship out of the whole thing. So that way you open the box, you, you put it in with your T-harness, wire it up as you're supposed to, and that's all there is to it. It's very straightforward. So we try our best to help people out. Um, and I hope this video was helpful to you to know a little bit more about the behind the scenes portion of how these Evos are programmed. So with that said, I'm out. Anything else, shoot, shoot us a message. We're here to help.